Welcome Aries. This is your reading. This is the next 48 hours. So if this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. Okay, but let's jump into this. I pulled the cards to save some time uh, because I really don't want these readings to go on for uh, a, a long period of time. So <clears throat> in your current energies, your well, your past energies, sorry, in your past energies, we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, right? So I feel like there's a need for you to pay attention to the things that are going on around you, right? We have the star. So you can be in this healing energy. You know, you could be healing. You could be wishing upon your star, um, trying to bring something to life, okay? And we have the two of pentacles. So I feel like there's a lot of things that, that you're juggling. You could be making decisions, making choices. But I feel like the choices that you make are letting yourself be seen, right? It's something that's going to be successful. You are being acknowledged for the work that you're putting in. So I feel like you do have healing here, right? Um, in your current energies, we have new life. So there's some kind of new beginning, some kind of feeling of being renewed. You have made a final judgment call, right? So um, in the center of the reading, we have the Nine of Swords and the Six of Cups. So there's something that you're fearing. It may be pain from the past that you fear resurfacing. Or it may be some kind of reunion that you fear happening. Someone from the past trying to come back. You really don't want that situation to occur. So it has you all up in your head. You're very fearful. You doubt how it's going to turn out right but i feel like you are you're very fearful of this situation playing out but look at this we have the six of wands and the four of cups so it's definitely going to work out it's definitely going to work out so there's no need to fear right in the near future we have comfort okay so archangel azriel i am with you in your time of need Helping your heart to heal. So I feel like your angels are here to comfort you. Right? You have that angel protection. Okay? And we have the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, you may be very independent. You may be having some sort of increase. Because look at this. We're going from healing to making a final judgment call to possibly going it on your own, right? This could be a time when you're single, you're happy, and you feel very independent. Um, you're finding your balance. There is someone here who is sneaky, who I feel is walking away with some kind of information that you need to hear, right? Someone's walking away with something valuable that you need to hear. Something needs to be revealed. But they're walking away with this secret, right? So I feel like that's something that you just should be aware of. Okay, we're going to go ahead and clarify as well. But see, in this bottom row, I see six of wands, four of wands, seven of wands, victory. You're standing on what you believe in. You have victory in this situation. So in, in a situation that you're going through, you, you are victorious, okay? So your next 48 hours is very victorious, but, but I feel like there are things that you need to be aware of, right? I do feel like there's, there's some sort of pain from the past that may be resurfacing, because it's at the center, I feel like it's something that you really need to notice. You really need to be aware of. There may be some hard choice, some feeling of compromise, right? Okay, tell me about this star card. Let's clarify the star. 
Okay, the Chariot. The Two of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles, okay. And with the Six of Wands, we have the Strength card. So I definitely feel like you're moving in the right direction. You're going from this healing place to really take an action. So there, there's some place that you're moving. You may be literally moving for some kind of new promotion. Um, you may want a change and just move to a different place. But with this Two of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, I feel like your situation is improving. There's a really big improvement. You're no longer juggling. Okay, you're no longer robbing Peter to pay Paul. You have this independence, you have this increase. So it could be a job offer that you're moving towards. It could be a new promotion, you know, but you, you are in a more stable place. You are feeling more confident about your situation. With the Six of Wands energy, I feel like you would definitely be a noticed and it's boosting your confidence. It's giving you that confidence boost that you need right and you're able to feel more stronger you know be in your power okay so let's take a look at the judgment let's clarify the judgments okay with the judgment yeah of course the king of swords with the nine of swords six of cups we have the world and with the Four of Wands, we have the Seven of Wands, right? So Seven, Seven, right next to each other. So there's something that you're defending. There's something that you're standing for. There may be a celebration that you greatly deserve because it's something that you totally believe in. You've done all the hard work. You've been through that battle and now there's celebration, okay? But with this Judgment card, we have the King of Swords. So I feel like this is brutal honesty, okay? Someone's being brutally honest with you, and it's like giving you this wake-up call. You, you have finally come to the right decision to have this new beginning because of what's revealed to you. You know, you're demanding respect. You're demanding to be heard. You know, this is, this is a new you. This is not... You know, worrying about what other people think or say. You're like, I'm standing on what I believe in. This is my truth, right? And I feel like whatever that you're, you're fearing, whatever it is that's really having you deep in worry, you're definitely getting over that. You're moving past that. Okay, that's ending for you. You're moving into a new cycle. And now you're on guard. You're like... I'm, I'm having this, um, I'm winning this battle no matter what, right? So with this Nine of Pentacles, let's get a message for this Nine of Pentacles, please. Wow, okay. So we have the Knight of Pentacles, the Three of Cups, and the Page of Cups. Okay, at the bottom we have the Ten of Pentacles. So your challenge may be to really figure out what is really important to you and put that as your priority, right? Okay, with the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Pentacles. So someone is offering you some kind of increase, some kind of good news, okay, with this Nine of Pentacles. You're already in a stable position with this Nine of Pentacles. This is the luxurious lady. You know, she has everything that she needs. She has depend independence. She has stability, you know. But I feel like there's a better offer on the table. Some kind of good news that you're receiving. Excuse me, good news that you're receiving. With this Seven of Swords energy, someone walking away with information that you need. I feel like you may know who this person is. This person is in your social circle. Right. This is maybe someone that you trusted at one point, but I feel like with this three of cups energy, this is either support, someone coming in to support you or someone coming in that, you know, is deceiving you. Right. With this seven of wands energy, 
we have uh, the page of cups so there's definitely some kind of offer that you're not expecting there may be a love offer on the table it may be someone asking you out someone wanting to get to know you better um, but I feel like it's definitely some kind of offer that you see very appealing right let's take a look at what's going on in the next 48 hours in love right let's get a message for Aries what's going on in love okay we have healthy choices so making healthy choices and that self-love is appearing again you know being happier taking care of yourself get, getting um, healthier choices in your lifestyle right and we also have the coffin so where there are endings and there may be an ending here that may be the reason why you're in healing uh, but where there are endings there are new beginnings we have new life we have the coffin which is a new beginning growth change being liberated okay um so i feel like there's definitely something that's helping you through your situation you have angel comfort right and we also have self-indulgence so it's time to focus on yourself it's time to really see that self-worth with this with this um strength card that coincides with that you know do the shadow work it's time to heal with the star card you know appreciate the person that you are even if you don't feel like you're at your best at the moment appreciate the person that you are and appreciate the changes that you're going through right so let's get a let's get an angel number let's see what we have for Aries let's get an angel number for Aries I love these angel numbers I really do if you don't like them, let me know in the comments <laughs> because I use them in every reading now. I just really adore them. Okay, so your angel number is 333 potential. Okay, your chance to reach your highest potentials is here. Perseverance has gotten you where you are and you have been through so much. This guidance is here to show you that you are exactly where you need to be. Your affirmation, Aries, my potential is infinite. I use my strength as my ally to pursue my highest good, right? Okay, Aries, so that is your next 48 hours. That is your reading. I hope this reading helps you. I hope it finds you and resonates. If it doesn't resonate, make sure to take a look at your other placements. Until then, Aries, many blessings to you. Love and beautiful lights.